Welcome back YouTubers to another edition of my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about the stall. Now the stall for you helicopter smokers will actually drive you crazy if you don't understand what's going on. What you see here on the screen is an actual screenshot of a smoke that I did and the readings that you're seeing are the actual readings of the meat as, as it's being smoked. Now I want to draw your attention to a couple of things. First of all, down here we have the time. So you notice it starts off at midnight. This is 5 in the morning and this is 10. Okay. So the stall happens in the middle of the cook, usually between 140 to 155, 160 degrees of your internal temperature. Now, when this happens, this is actually where the good stuff happens, where your meat, if it's if it's a tough a uh, piece of meat like a brisket you normally is during the stall this is where all the magic happens so I wanted to uh, draw your attention to be uh, to begin with here at midnight notice the temperature of the meat at that point it was about 125 128 so this as of right now it's not in the stall it keeps on going up probably 135 here probably about 140 145 around here now this is where it actually starts this is where your actual stall starts and you can actually see it uh, if you look at the actual readings the stall here let me bring this down a little bit the stall seems to start between about three in the morning four in the morning till about nine so that gives you about a five hour window notice that the readings are going up here um, pretty consistent and all of a sudden they start to lag and actually I should move this one down a little bit more they start to lag a little bit right so I would say 125 128 to about 145 within about an hour and a half but then if you notice for the next five five and a half hours it goes probably from about 145 to about 150 one maybe 155 if you're talking about five hours uh, five to eight degree difference and again for you helicopter smokers if you're looking at your at your the temperature your internal temperature this will drive you crazy it'll drive you crazy because you're thinking something's wrong but actually this is where the meat fibers start to break down slowly and when you pull out your meat and you actually uh, slice it this is actually going to help it be uh, the softest meat possible okay so during this time you just got to be patient. You got to be patient because it will happen in every meet. I have another uh, screenshot of a pulled pork that I did. It's almost identical where the, the temperature, the internal temperature starts to rise and all of a sudden it just stalls on you. But that is, you're doing it good. Do not try to add more heat. Do not try to uh, increase temperatures. Do not try to do anything because this is where the magic happens. This is why a good smoke should take anywhere between 15 to 20 sometimes even 24 hours because of the stall anybody can cook a meat in eight hours i've heard youtubers say oh i i cook my briskets in six eight hours well yes but how tender and and how uh sought after will your meat be if it if you just cook it straight through okay now another thing i wanted to point out here i had this brisket in here since about eight o'clock which means that from eight to about midnight it went from 35, 36 de uh, degrees internal temp to about 125, right? So I started tracking the, the temperature here. I, I noticed a stall here. And if you notice, there's a dip here. Something that I did here is something that I, I've done to some of my briskets, but I think I'm going to start doing it more often. What I did here is I actually pulled the brisket out because I had the bark that I wanted, and I actually wrapped it. I wrapped it in foil, okay? So that's why you noticed I pulled out the, the internal, the meat probe. So it started reading, we were about 50, 55 degrees that day. So it started reading at 50, 55. But I just wrapped it within five minutes and I put it back. Okay. So then you start seeing it go up and then you, it kind of mirrors this one over here. You see how the, uh, the slope here is? This one kind of mirrors it the same. So from about nine till about four, that's another five hours, it went from about 165 to 195 so that's about a 30 degree difference compared to about a 5 or 10 degree dif difference here okay so again this is what's known in the in the business as 
the stall okay the best thing for your meat is when you have a stall if you don't have a stall that means that it, it's not going to come out as as tender as it should all right so this is a very good illustration of what i mean by the stall be patient this is where the magic happens if y'all have any questions this is this mirrors a pulled pork exact almost exactly the same uh this is for your briskets and pretty much anything else that you have now sometimes the meat that you're cooking the stall might be shorter but there has to be a stall if you want those uh fibers to break down and actually tenderize the meat as it's actually cooking okay if you have any questions on this video uh leave a comment down below but this is a very very uh, good illustration of what the stall means in an actual smoke thank you for watching and uh please look at my other videos if you have any questions leave comments below